Hello everyone, welcome back to Royalty Soaps and the month of June. Before we get started, I just wanna say a quick thank you to everyone who visited our site and purchased from us for the Wild Summer Collection. That collection was absolutely un precedented. We broke all of our records. We sold out in an hour, which has not happened to me since we've scaled up, since we've added more people, since we've started to make lots and lots of batches of the soaps that you guys see on film. We have never had anything like this happen before. I've gotten a lot of new subscribers in the past month. We are now, <laughs> we are now over half a million strong here on YouTube. Half a million members in the Royal Court. We had a viral video. Yes, it wasn't monetized, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> We had a viral TikTok all at the same time. It's been absolutely crazy around here. My mind is blown and I'm very, very sorry to any of those who went to the website and didn't get what you wanted. That breaks my heart, really it does. This is the kind of stuff that keeps me up at night. I really hate to disappoint anybody, but I promise we are gonna try really, really hard to make even more. We're working overtime as it is and we're just gonna push ourselves a little further until we can get some more help in royalty soap so that we can have more stock available for the July collection, which is, is, by the way, a Royal Vault collection. So I will be designing two soaps this month. One of them is an artisan soap, and then one of them is a frosted soap, and those will be new. But then we also have a whole bunch of throwbacks that I will not be making on film, such as birthday cake, underwater alchemist. I pulled you guys on Instagram to see what you were the most interested in, and then we made the ones that got the most votes, and then also sold the most based on our analytics. So we tried to make the ones that you guys like the best so that for the other six videos this month I can focus on doing something that we've never done before I'm not gonna be making a lot of videos just for entertainment Which is what the ones of me making the soaps that end up being in the shop are for I'm gonna be making teaching videos That's right. The Royal Creative Academy is launching our beginner soap making course It is 100% free and I am going to give you guys step-by-step -step instructions completely with an entire PDF of everything that you need to purchase to make cold process soap. I'm gonna talk about prepping it. I'm gonna talk about cleaning your dishes. We're gonna talk about troubleshooting. I'm gonna walk you through step by step. I'm gonna do the whole kit and caboodle and that's what we're focusing on this month, mainly just because we really wanted to. This was one of my goals from the beginning of the year was to have a teaching series because all of the comments that I get from y'all about how to make soap, like can you just teach us how to do it? And all of those have been coming in for years now. And I really wanted to set aside a dedicated time to teach you guys soap making. Now, I'm not a teacher. I don't really call myself like a qualified professional soap making teacher, but I'm gonna do my best to give you guys all the resources that I think you need to start out. And I'm gonna focus on two main points. One is to create beautiful bars of soap. Gone are the days of ugly first batches, okay? The first batch I made was ugly. I see so many people make first batches that just don't look good. The colors are weird. The fragrance doesn't match, blah, blah, blah. We're banishing that. I want the first batch that y'all make to be beautiful. And then number two, inexpensive. I want this to be affordable. I'm gonna give you guys two options most of the time. One is the cheapest option, and then one is a slightly better upgrade that I myself would use. So I really want anybody who wants to make soap to be able to do this. There have been times in the past where companies have reached out to me or I have tried to collab with them on making beginner soap making kits, but I will level with you guys. It is never going to be your least expensive option to buy a full soap making kit from a third party distributor. It's just not because you can buy all of those individual ingredients from different places including like Walmart and the dollar store so much cheaper than you can buy them in a kit from somebody. So I'm going to tell you exactly what to buy on a budget, things that I've tested, things that I've used for years. It's going to be a whole thing. I have talked so long for this intro but there's just so much going on in June. I also have a poop ton of stuff going on in my personal life. I'm not going to get into it here because it's way too much. Ugh. So without further ado, let's make the new artisan soap design. Then on Saturday, we'll make the new frosted soap design. And after that, we'll go on into the teaching series. And I'll let you guys know a little later on Instagram, all of the throwbacks that we'll be doing. I'll be releasing them one at a time just for funsy so that you guys know, yay, we have that one to look forward to. If you want to purchase from me, I am talking so fast. I'm on point. I don't think I've said, um, this whole time. Yes. Without further ado, let's make some soap. 
There's nothing lovelier to me than a clear bucket of oils. The recipe I'm using today can be found down in the description box below. And we shall begin by pouring our lye water solution into our oils. Just down the edge here to avoid air bubbles if at all possible. Our batter is nice and runny now. So let's pour off that first layer of sand. Oh goodness, oh I'm dripping, oh goodness, despair. So to this bucket, I'm gonna be adding some 24 karat gold mica. That's gonna give it a nice sandy color. I'm going to add our fragrance oil, which is Abalone and Sea by Wholesale Supplies Plus. And then I'm gonna start by blending this in by hand. Then I'm gonna dump in all of these pretty soap shavings. And to remind you why I'm doing this, I'm gonna put my inspiration picture up on the screen. So you can see in the sand, there were umbrellas and beach towels and little beach chairs and that is what this is supposed to represent all of those really really pretty beach accessories this is also a great way to include any soap scraps in a current design all right let's pour this first layer in I cannot find my clips for this so I'm just going to have to let it fill out naturally I'm going to go through real quick and try to tap down any little bits that may be poking up I guess any bits that are poking up could look like I don't know a surfboard or something going out to sea Okay, so let's do the ocean layer now. Now I have equally split off the remainder of my batch and it's time to do the water, which I'm very excited about. Into the big container, I am adding blue tide, just straight blue tide. And into the smaller container, I'm adding some blue tide mixed with shocker blue, which is a neon blue. Really wanted to kind of plump up that color a little bit. And also some titanium dioxide. Now I'm adding my fragrance oil and I'm going to mix this in by hand for right now because this fragrance has done really, really well. It hasn't riced or made my batter turn funny colors. But my soap batter itself has gotten unusually hot today. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because my studio is warmer and that's probably what it is. On days that I film, I turn off the air conditioning. That's right, in the Texas heat, which sometimes can be up to 100 degrees Fahrenheit, which is really quite warm. And I have to wear <laughs> long sleeves, but it makes such an irritating racket in the background that I always opt to just turn it off. And of of course that makes the air in the room hotter and generally that's not the best working conditions for soap. I am doing my very best to make haste with this and I'm gonna pour it into our blue right here. Whoa! Gotta hurry up and scrapey scrapey this big containy. I've given the soap a good little mix and now I'm going to begin by pouring in this corner and letting it just fill out over the entire mold. I think this is going to make the best swirl for what I'm trying to do. And then now that I see I have some more blue on top, I'm just gonna <laughs> move it around. I'm just now spritzing with Sparkle Me Aqua, which is gonna put a lovely shimmer across the entire batch. And then I'm going to texture it so that some parts will be shimmery and some parts won't. You see, when I pull, it's leaving some parts a little less shimmery and some parts a little more shimmery. And I think that adds to the aquatic look of the soap. Just texture alongside, just like this. And now using my little glass swirling tool, I'm just going to swirl up the middle of the soap, just like this. Go in a little circle. Caleb loves to do this. He says that this is one of his favorite top designs is to do the little swirl in the middle. I don't remember the first soap I ever did that with. I know there's other soap makers and that's kind of like the standard thing they do in the middle of their bars. And I love how uniform that looks. And yet, 
Every single one is so individual. Gonna give this a light spritzing with rubbing alcohol and that is it. Ocean Vibes is done until we cut it and stamp it. I don't know why, but there's something so lovely and pleasing about having a soap that's rather simple on top. That stamp is really gonna bring the pizzazz, and so are all of those little soap shavings. So I'm gonna wait 18 to 24 hours, and then I'm gonna come back. We're gonna split the slab into loaves and cut the loaves into bars after, that's right, you guessed it, this quick commercial break. All right, guys, it's time to cut ocean vibes. Sorry the bar is in the way there. That's a little more even. I know the making portion of this soap was kind of short. I apologize. I was huffing and puffing trying to pour it in the mold and everything. My oils were being a little bit weird. Caleb forgot to give them a little stir before we got them out of the master batch container, which is why I had issues with this particular batch. But you know what? It's still gonna look beautiful. See? <laughs> I love the way the beach looks. Here, let me put it to the side and we'll throw my inspiration photo up. I can see it, I can see it for sure. And what's super great is that this reuses some of the soaps that got pulled for quality control. <laughs> we try to waste as little soap as possible around these parts. And because of the in the pot swirl, ooh, every single soap is going to look a little different. <gasps> um, I see eyeballs. <laughs> y'all see eyes? Because it's an in the pot swirl, every single soap is gonna look a little different. Now I get asked a lot what we do with these end pieces and the answer is we put them in sample packs. So we cut them in half and we put them in a sample pack of four. That way people can try out different fragrances if they like. Let's cut another one just for fun. Whoa. I don't know if you can see this, but the sand is sparkling. Now, for the question of the day. The question of the day is, have you ever been surfing? Have you ever been surfing? When I was a kid, the movie Soul Surfer came out and so did the book and Bethany Hamilton and her entire experience just put surfing on the map for me as a kid. And then I wanted a surf theme bedroom. I wrote about it in my journal. I had never been surfing before. In fact, I had never even been to the actual ocean before. I had just been to Galveston. Galveston, Texas. Galveston has really dirty beaches. It's, it's not really pretty at all. I didn't even know that water was as clear as it is in like Hawaii and the Maldives and Bora Bora. Like that was a foreign concept to me, but I saw all these pictures in her book and it was a theme for people's bedrooms. And I was just like, hey, surfing is what I wanna do when I grow up. And for like a year, I thought I literally was gonna do that. I had never surfed before in my life. So tell me down in the comments below if any of you guys have gone surfing. I would like to hear from actual surfers what it was like when you got started and all that kind of good stuff because I know surfing is a real, real lifestyle for some people. So tell me all about it down in the comments below or if you're one of the people like me who's always wanted to and never has had the opportunity yet. I have laid out three of the soaps so I can show you guys the stamp. So this is what the stamp looks like. Yeah, woohoo! So I designed that in Photoshop. I put the little fish there, got some fun bubbly text, threw it all together, and then sent it to the person who makes our soap stamps. And I'll leave you guys a link down below. In the past, the link has not worked exactly right, and I'm not sure why, but I will leave it down below. I'll check it. I'll make sure it's going to the right place. I'm not affiliated with the store, but I do have affiliate links for Etsy because I'm part of Reward Style, which is like this big conglomerate like linking thing where you get like lots of different links to lots of different websites. So any store that is on Etsy, I can potentially make a commission off of. So that's just a disclaimer in case you didn't know how that worked. <laughs> Most of the time that commission is like 20 cents, but 
it's 20 cents more than I had before, right? <laughs> Most people like to use a rubber mallet to go bang, 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 but these soaps are soft enough that for this little demonstration, I can just push it straight in. However, if you want the cleanest results, use a rubber mallet. This is what the little stamp looks like. It's so cute. Now I'm gonna tap down the letters in some mica over here on a wet paper towel. That kind of helps it stick. And we're gonna put that on there. See what we think. It may not be necessary. In fact, it probably won't be, but I like to try a couple of different things. Oh, that's really cute. I like that. So that's super cute. It kind of just makes the ocean vibes part stick out from the soap a little bit more. For this final one, this final little test here, I put some, what is this? Aztec gold mica on here. The last one that I used was sister golden hair. Ooh, I think I like that one the most. Yes, look at that. That. Honestly, it looks better in real life than it does on camera because I'm looking at right here in my hands and then I'm looking at it on the monitor and it doesn't look quite as clean on the monitor. Still looks cute though and I'm super pleased. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope it gave you some joy into your day today. Very quickly, I want to address the fact that I am not wearing makeup in this video. Now, for those of you who are OG royal court members, you know that this is a pretty common occurrence. There are some videos I just don't want to put makeup on, but more recently, I have felt the need to not wear makeup specifically. If for nothing more than to help people feel confident in what their faces look like, as you guys can see, I still have acne. I am almost 26 years old. I have had acne for 12 years. No, I don't use my soap on my face. Believe me, if there was something I could buy to fix this, I probably would have already done it because it's painful. But this is what my face looks like. And I want everybody who watches me to go, hey, if she can do it, then I should feel confident if I don't want to wear makeup to not wear makeup. If you like using makeup as an art form, hey, I like doing that too sometimes. Don't feel bad about that. But if you don't want to, I don't feel like there should be pressure to. I'll just put it that way. So you'll probably see me showing up with no makeup on more often because I'm trying to help people feel more comfortable in their own skin. It is a purposeful decision. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Now, this Ocean Vibe soap, along with the Frosted soap and all the throwback soaps, are going to be available on a different day, okay? Normally, we do the first Saturday of every month, but the first Saturday in July is July 4th, so we're moving it to Friday at 8 p.m. I'm sorry for those of y'all who are international. We have to cater to the majority, most of which are in the United States. So, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, RoyaltySoaps.com on Friday, July 3rd third is when these will be available and the throwback collection including both birthday cake and underwater alchemist I'll just throw those out there those will be in the collection now be sure you go do something fun for yourself today and fun can be a lot of different things some people like to do fun things and that's like going to the library and doing research and that's fun to them if that's fun to you go do that if it's fun for you to just unplug everything and go out and sit in nature and look at snails do that I don't really care what you do just be sure you take a little bit of time for yourself today i cannot wait to see you on saturday we will be doing the july birthstone soap then which is gonna be so much fun and until then have a marvelous week be encouraged be uplifted and i'll see you guys soon so until then bye for now seriously this new series for teaching is gonna be so much fun if you didn't think you could make cold process soap i'm gonna give you the tools to do it we're gonna do it together it's gonna be great i will see you guys saturday okay bye